Hi people, I'm Nikita and you're watching The Happy Who. I know it can be very hard when you have to learn a new language at an age of 20, 22, especially when the language is German, which is known to have one of the most craziest and the strangest grammar, which uses 10 different words to express one thing depending upon what's the situation, and which uses also a word to express 10 different things depending again on the situation. But of course, as somebody wisely said, it will be difficult, but difficult does not mean impossible. So I'm here sharing with you all guys five quickest and the best rules of learning German, which comes from my personal experience of living in Germany. These rules are more or less like A, B, C, D, E's of learning German and therefore I will start with the letter A. Accept that German is important. So what I observed from my initial days in Germany and from the initial days of my friends and the people who are coming to Germany now, that the first thing that you need to understand and accept is that learning German is very essential. Irrespective of you've come only to study and you want to go back to your country immediately, your course is over, or you have come to study and you want to work for a couple of years and then go back to your country, or you want to settle down in Germany and never want to go back. Irrespective of any of these scenarios, it is very important that you learn German. Why? Number one, it benefits you. You know a new language that you never knew in your life, you can write it in your CV, you can easily understand people, you can communicate with them, you can express yourself better. And it's always helpful to know the native language of the country you are staying in, irrespective of two years, four years, five years, forever. It's always good to understand which situation you are in when people around are talking. Believe in yourself. This is one thing that I literally lacked in my initial days or I would say for the initial years when I was learning German. I know it's very difficult when you've lived one fourth of your life, if human life is on average 80 years, let's say, to start learning a new language at an age of 20 where the grammar is too difficult, completely different from English or your mother tongue, but it is not impossible. Start with small steps, like just buy yourself a book, read how the ABCDs are, how they are pronounced, what are the basic words. Start with small sentences like I am Nikita. Ich bin Nikita. It is like learning a new skill. You can learn cooking at an age of 20. You can learn to ride skates at an age of 20. You can learn to swim at an age of 20. Then why can't you learn a new language at an age of 20? You just have to have faith in yourself that no matter how difficult the language is, it will take time, but it is possible. Just don't give up on it. See communicate as much as you can. This was one of the biggest fear of my initial years of being in Germany that even after doing A1, A2 courses and passing them in the first attempt, I was never confident when it was about communicating in German. It was so hard for me that even if I had to just say Ich heiße Nikita, I had to gather strength from deep down my gut, open my mouth and express these three small words. It took me a couple of months to get over this barrier and this fear that it's okay even if I'm incorrect, even if I'm not using the right grammar, if the words are not coming, it's okay. I just need to communicate because this communication barrier is one barrier that is very important to be taken over. Believe me when I say you can do A1, A2, B1, B2 and C1, C2, all the courses with 98% or 95%, you can have all the certificates, but if you don't communicate, it's very difficult to really get the hold over a new language. So borrow yourself a friend who is also learning German with you in your course or much better a German friend who can actually help you improve or anybody who knows better German than you so that they can improve you whenever you're wrong and you can communicate with them. So in my university there is this tandem partner thing where you can actually get yourself a buddy and this buddy helps you learn German and you help this buddy learn your mother tongue like English or Hindi in my case. Do whatever you can but try to communicate as much as you can. D. D 
dedicate some time daily. Now this is very clear. No matter what you're doing, if you're not dedicating enough time and effort into that thing, goal or the outcome will not be as good as what you expect. You have to dedicate every day, let's say five days a week, 20 to 30 minutes only in learning German. And it's not difficult at all. If you're a student, you can go and join courses of German at your university. If you're not a student and have come to work in Germany, you can still join courses offered by Goethe Institute or you can use internet to do that. Or if I have to recommend, I would recommend you to use this app called Duolingo. It's one of the best apps, or I should say it is the best app ever I have seen until now or I have used until now. From my experience of using this app, this app lets you learn German or any other language like a child. A child is never taught A, B, C, D, E. A child just listens, talks, listens again and talks, makes mistakes but talks again, then listens and so on. So this is a very interesting app because it starts basic words, then basic phrases, then goes to food, clothing, and plural, singular and so many things. And if you have friends who are learning German, then go ask them to come on this app, compete against them, learn something and make it interesting. So if you really want to learn German, then dedicate some time every day because everyday dedication and listening and seeing new words and or the same words again and again will not only improve your vocabulary but you will tend to remember grammar without the rules behind it e entertainment entertain yourself with movies or serials now this thing is something which is not only experienced but i can vouch on this the more serials or movies you watch in German, the more you will be able to understand. When you're watching a movie or a serial, you're not only visualizing something, your brain and your ears are listening to German constantly, so you're entertained, but at the same time, you're improving your skills in German. As much as communication is necessary, it's necessary to hear new words, understand the grammar or get used to it. There will be some point in time that you don't have to remember those small German rules that here comes genitive, here comes dative, here comes ihr, here comes du, here comes dir. You, your brain just knows that the grammar that you're speaking is the correct grammar or the word you're speaking is the correct version of the word. Don't confuse yourself between dedication and entertainment because dedication is a part of learning and entertainment is a part of enjoying. Last but not the least, don't be disheartened when you are not able to understand what people are talking. Don't think that, ah, I did B1 course or B2, C1, but I'm still not able to understand. I've been now almost for five years in Germany and I'm still struggling. But one of the experiences I made that whenever we learn German, we learn the, the pure German, so like the Hochdeutsch, we say it here, which is like the basic German. But when people talk around here, communicate, you sometimes don't understand because they are not, not because they are not speaking German, but because they are using dialects or they are pretty fast and they don't spell or they don't pronounce the entire word, but just a part of it. And then you're confused, hey, where did the first part go? Like for example, the word Entschuldigung, excuse me, is Entschuldigung. But very often you will hear people in markets or buses saying just and the first time it happened with me, I was so surprised. I was like, hey, where did the end go? Good morning, it got eaten. So it's completely okay to be confused even if you have learned for years a language because things take time. They're difficult, but they will take time, but it's okay. So don't forget that you have to accept that German is important and you have to believe in yourself that you can learn it, but you have to always communicate so that you come over the barrier of thinking that you were talking wrong. Dedicate a certain amount of time every week to your German language. And at the end, don't forget to entertain yourself because eyes, brain and ears work the best together.